Hello. We've had our first frosts here at Homegrown Veg in the UK. The wind and the rain have done their bit in pushing this chop and drop down into my raised beds. Now it's the turn of Jack Frost. As you can see, that raised bed has a nice covering of frost on it. Uh, there's nothing in it. There's nothing in any of the raised beds or the pots now. Uh, we have some winter onions growing in buckets, but there's no work there. There's nothing to do. Uh, and in fact, there's nothing to do in the garden and the greenhouse is cleaned out. Um, so yeah, we'll go for a walk. Uh, and so I've been for a walk and I have a camera with me and I spotted something of interest there that I'm going to share with you now. So there is no gardening in this uh, gardening channel video because there is no gardening. Um, but what I spotted um, at the entrance of a churchyard was a blue commemorative plaque to a very wealthy gentleman. Now don't strain your eyes because there is a close-up of this, but this is the plaque. Okay, that was the plaque. Now this is the close-up of the plaque and you will be able to read the text. I've, I've put it on the side, but this is a copy of the text that's on the plaque. Wow, that guy was seriously rich, wasn't he? Blimey, how did he make all that money? The richest commoner in the kingdom. He must have had lots and lots and lots of money. Must have been very wealthy indeed. Anyway, what I thought I would do was I would, I would do some research and now I'm going to pop some text up on the screen and it'll show you how this gentleman and his family made their money. Check this out. So, Sir James Lowther and his family made their money from coal. So I walked into the uh, churchyard. I was going to go into the churchyard and have a look around. And I was actually stopped in my tracks by a memorial. A commemorative memorial to local children killed in the pits. 
Wow. I'm going to show you that in a moment, uh, that memorial. Uh, and I'd like you to take time to read the names of the children. Note their ages. I think the youngest child was only eight and the eldest 14. And that's probably to say that there were children older than 14, 15 or 16, possibly not classed as children anymore. And all these children were killed in local pits. Now I've worked down a pit. I know what the conditions are like. Certainly not as bad as they were in the, their day. And I actually tried to imagine these children and what it must have been like for them. And remember, these are just babies, really. The eldest 14, the youngest 8. Now imagine this. Getting up early to go to work and it's dark and it's wet and it's cold and there are no street lights and you have to walk to work. You probably get soaking wet. Then you go down that shaft. So you've got to work in the dark. And now when you go down that shaft, it's going to get even darker. And chances are, you're going to be down there all day. You will not see any sunshine. You will not breathe any fresh air. You will breathe whatever stale air there is down that mine. And you will breathe it for the length of time you're down that mine. And then when you come up that mine, it could be night. It could still be dark. So you've seen no sunlight at all that day. And if the only day off work was the Sabbath, then for six days, those children saw no sunlight. Wow. It's unimaginable. Unimaginable. Anyway, read down these names. Take note of the age of these children. And where there is a cluster of children, a number of children with the same date for their death, chances are there's been an explosion. And all those children were killed in that explosion. Or a roof fall that killed those children. But they've all died together down that pit. They may not even have been recovered. The bodies may not even have been recovered. Well, that's sad. That, that's really sad. Okay. It's not much to say, I'm just... I'm lost for words, really. I'm so sad at it. I'm just so sad. Hey, check this out.
Well, so there we have it. There we have it. That's where the rich man's money came from. Off the backs of children. Off the backs of children. As he became the wealthiest man in the kingdom, those children were losing their lives down his pits. And he lived, I believe, to lose nearly a hundred. Those youngsters didn't even live to become young men. Wow. That's sad. <laughs> That's sad.